Well, folks, spring has sprung, and this is the perfect time of year to plant that garden, clean up that yard, and then for a little rest and relaxation, how about some fishing? Hi, welcome to Around the Town with Marilyn Forbes. For today's show, I'm so excited because anybody that knows me knows how much I love to fish. We're going to be talking to a group in the area, the General Braddock Fish Club, who has been very instrumental in keeping the yawk stocked. This group of volunteers has been doing some amazing things, and we're going to meet with one of their board members today. He's going to tell us all about the organization, what they do, and maybe even how you folks can get involved if you like. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and stick around, because I'm going to fish at the end. Well, folks, as promised, we're going to hear all about the General Braddock Fish Club. And we have here with us today Ron Haggerty, who's actually a board member, and... What else did you tell me? I do the uh, like committee chair for the York River uh, Alley. There you go. And he also is instrumental with the concession stand, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So, Ron, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, as usual, we're, we're, please start us at the beginning. How did your group get organized? I understand you've been together for about six years. So tell us how you came to be. Well, this the the idea of stalking the York came about years ago. I think in the 70s, York fishermen actually started the York. It was the York Fishermen's Association. They were in existence up until the 90s where they actually stocked fish in the river here, had the river alleys. And then the group kind of went quiet. They don't do, they're don't do. they not as involved now. They're not involved with uh, raising the fish and putting them in the York River here. So that, that kind, of, kind of fizzled and went away. And when that did, uh, years later, uh, one of our members, Tom Murphy, had the idea that let's get this club back up and running. And um, went out and spoke to the Yotzi Brothers, which is at the nursery where we were at. And the Yotzi brothers agreed to allow us to use the nursery out there again. And that kind of one thing led to another. And Tom Murphy met with Rick Prutz and a bunch, a few other board members, and they decided, let's, let's bring it back. And they started the organization of General Braddock's Fish Club. And we got the name because of General Braddock's Crossing was right here at the York River just below us. I literally was just going to ask yeah. you that. <laughs> <laughs> now, the nursery that you have, um, that is a co-op. It's so a co-op co nursery ran with fish, Fishing Boat Commission. Okay, now now what's really cool about this is it's a it's a very, very impressive setup they have. And the Game Commission actually donates the fingerlings for these folks here to raise. And they yes, bring it to you in the summer. So they, they'll give us the fingerlings, wh wh whatever we request each year. They'll come in about anywhere from three to four inches in size. We usually get them about in July, and then we will raise them, feed them twice a day the whole year until we start putting them in in March. Awesome. And yeah. then now they get uh, brown trout, rainbow, and... Brown trout, rainbows, and we get some golden trout as well. Or a.k.a. palominos. <laughs> as we, <laughs> I always called them palominos. And I was out there, there, they did some stalking on Saturday. And their trout are all, they're all uh, legal size, seven inches and above? So, yes, they're all anywhere ranging. The browns are anywhere from eight to probably 12 inches. And the rainbows are anywhere from 11 to maybe 15 and, uh, and the, gold, the goldens are, are big. They're birds. Big. They, <laughs> yeah, are, they, they're, got, they got pretty big. They're very impressive. I don't know if it's because there's just not as many fish in that large of an area. I mean, because they get them the same time and they're the same size. They we just were always talking tend about to that. grow faster than the others. So yeah. I don't. They, they they respond well to the food. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So then these folks take care of them. Um, there's also an aerating system out there that they have to to, to keep up with. Uh, the nursery itself is fed naturally with. We think it's Mounds Creek. So. Yeah, we think it's Mounds Creek. <laughs> it's Mounds Creek. And then there's also um, a spring there, too, uh, that you were explaining. It's a natural spring that comes in and feeds the creek, and that, that water helps keep our temperatures more of a normal temperature. That, that's interesting. It warms it up a little bit. It warms it up or keeps it cooler, whatever the, whatever the case may be, depending on the time of year, I guess. So I want to point this out, really. These folks, and it's all it's a complete volunteer organization. This is a... 24-7 type organization. It can I mean, be, yeah. It, they have to, somebody has to be there every day to take care of the fish, to, to, to feed them. As I said again, to make sure that the aeration system is, is, is going and keeps the fish happy and aerated. But what I think is impressive is, you might not realize, we are talking thousands of fish, not just a couple hundred thousands. How, yeah. About how many a year do you folks actually we, release We stock about eight, a little over 8,000 a year, uh, 4,000 browns, 4,000 rainbows, and anywhere around 50 to 80 golden trout depending on the year and what we get from the fish commission that's 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 amazing yeah. and there's two there's two two stocking sites here that you folks usually release yeah we them? stock uh, well we stock the area between saint rita's church and york river park here so in those two areas we put all those fish every year 
and they're 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 here for the folks to get and i did a little bit of research after asking you that the question i asked ron the other day what is to stop the fish from just going down the river once you release them and actually trout are very strong swimmers yeah i did not know that and in here even where there's a, a larger river where there can be a current they can either drop down below and swim against a current or they go off to the sides so don't think that just because they're put in here they get washed down but also, we get some fish from downstream, don't we? We do, yes. Yeah, the West Newton will put some fish in, and we've been, been known, they've been known to pull some big fish out of here that were put in in the West Newton area. I just think, I think that's yeah. crazy. Think of salmon, how they, you know, they yeah. go upstream. Okay, anyways, so these folks here, now they are going to uh, be starting up the River Rally again, which I understand was a really big event back here in the Clownsville area back in the 80s, 90s? 80s and 90s, yes. And it's going to be... This year is the first one coming back. It's going to be the first weekend in June. Lots of activities, a couple different derbies, and it's going to be an annual event now. Annual event. We're hoping to bring it back every year, and we're, we're real excited to bring it back. So it's, we're going to try to bring back all the old things that they used to oh, do. Oh, that's so fun. And they're also going to purchase a couple really big trout, correct? And you're yeah, going to tag them. We're going to tag some big trout and put in there as well for our fishing tournaments for that weekend. So if you get a tagged fish, that's just... You get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, another thing, too, that this group did is behind us here is the concession stand. Um, the volunteers actually got that back up and they're manning it, and it's going to be open weekends and holidays. And you want to tell us what you folks are going to be having there? Yeah, we'll be open uh, weekends and holidays through the summer months and, and fall months also. Um, we supply drinks to the bike riders, uh, fishing bait to the fishermen, uh, ice to the rafters and the kayakers and we also supply uh, we have an air compressor where we'll let the rafters blow up their rafts here for a donation to the fish club and all those donations of course they just go in turn to help us pay to feed the fish that we have to do every year awesome oh, so you do you do pay for the feed correct yes we do okay and they generate money through they do ticket uh, ticket we, sales we do and... a week a year uh, i'm sorry a monthly ticket sale and a concession stand and some some private donations to help offset the cost for feeding the fish. It costs us about 3000 a year in, in food. Oh, that's, and that's, that's not including the electric bills for running the aerators. Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's incredible. Like I said, whenever I, when I first heard about you folks, I seriously was thinking a couple hundred fish, but when I realized the, 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 the scale of what you guys were doing. Yeah, it's big. There's a lot of fish. There's a lot of fish, and they're out there to be caught. Uh, and as I said, I mentioned a couple times that organization is volunteer run, and they're always looking for new members. You're, you're about, what, 60, 70 strong, you said Probably right in now? that area, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Tell us, like, you meet, what, once a month? or, or We, what we meet once a month, usually at the VFW in Connorsville. Uh During summer months, sometimes we'll meet in a pavilion down here at York Park. So, yeah, once a month we meet, and... Sometimes we'll have cleanup days at the nursery or work days there we'll schedule as well. And volunteers then too, I know that um, from talking to Mike, who is the, the, the nursery manager there, uh, they need volunteers just to even help them feed the fish. Uh, one of you guys have to do that. Yeah, we have to feed the fish, clean the nursery. I was just going to say yeah. clean, clean. The aerators constantly need cleaned out. Uh, there's all there's just a lot the volunteers can do. The concession stand. Always looking for volunteers <laughs> to help with the concession stand, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and what else is as far as volunteers? Uh, just our cleanup days that we do here with the, and the work days here at the concession stand. That's the that's the main part. Uh, our York River Alley naturally we're, naturally we're going to need a lot of volunteers to help with that. It's it's really going to be a big event and we're going to do it in conjunction with the Conzel Recreation Board, which kindly lets us use the concession stand down here at no charge. So we're going to kind of do this as a joint venture between the two of us. Awesome. And 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 what kind. <sighs> What kind of feedback are you getting from people? I mean, from what you've been telling me, you, you, you've put almost 50,000 trout in this river in the last couple of years to, to, to boost, to the, bring families back, bring fishing back. What kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, we're get, as people know what we're doing and, and it's catching on with people realizing what we've done for the river here and the community of Con as well with fishing, I think we're getting very positive feedback. Every time we're down here stocking, we pick up new members of people wanting to join. Um, with us bringing back the York River Alley, it's really brought our name into into the limelight here. So we've had a lot of interest with that and a lot of excitement over the river alley coming back to Connorsville. So hopefully that'll in turn help our club out. And and they really they really stress family. And when I was here, I as, again, I was fortunate to, to spend a stocking morning with them. Uh, they had a lot of people show up down here at the park. Uh, they, a lot of kids, a lot of families. 
and they put a bunch of trout in a bucket and they let the kids throw them wherever they want to and, and be an active part of it. And I, I could see the, the smiles. The kids loved it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we, we got the pins for the kids, the, uh, the buttons. Say, it says, I help stock the yawk with the year on it with General Braddock's Fish Club. And we try to give those to the kids that are volunteer and come down and help. Okay, and hats, you get a hat if you become a With member. the membership, yes. And um, they will have um, membership forms here at the concession stand. Yes. That, that'll be there Every at weekend, all times. yes. Okay, and also, too, uh, before we forget, uh, they are going to start doing the River Rally every year, and I don't know, was the Duck Derby part of that, or is this something new? The Duck Derby was part of the original River okay. Rallies. I'm not exactly sure how it went. Uh, we're, we're kind of... Knowing that they had it, we're expanding on it and making it a little bit bigger. Okay. And how many ducks is going to We have 2,000 rubber ducks that we're going to drop off the Memorial Boulevard Bridge <laughs> into the river, and they'll race down to a finish line, and uh, they'll be funneled in, and we'll pay out for first, second, and third place. Okay. That's great. And, and you can get, you can actually buy your duck derby ticket here at the concession stand. And there again, I'm assuming this is going to be an annual event, so you're probably going to have them next year throughout the year. To... We're hoping this will be an annual event, yes. Oh, cool. And so you have to get your duck derby ticket. <laughs> and for those of you that don't understand, you, you buy a duck. You buy a duck. Yes. And it's numbered. That's your number. You drop them off the bridge and they go down the river and number one, two, and three. If that's your number, you win big. That's it. And it's a 50% of the profits go to. Going to be a good bit of money. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anything else then? Because uh, I understand we're going to hit the river a little bit here. That's it. Okay, I, I explained to, to, to Ron here at the beginning. I'm, I've fished forever, um, but I fished little streams, I fished uh, ponds, I fished the ocean. I've never fished a river this size. And I, he's going to explain to me a little bit. Uh, how it's different? We'll see. You might you might explain it to me. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, also, too, before we cut off here, he uh, showed me a couple photos. I don't want you folks to think that there's just, you know, there's some massive fish in this no, river. there's been some big I fish I did not out of here. realize yes. that. He had pictures he was showing me. A couple, what was it, a tiger trout? A tiger trout that we figure came from West Newton and uh, also a large 20-some plus inch walleye that was caught right here in York Park. So it's right there here. It's right here, right here to be had, folks. And again, like we said, family. This is such a nice park. This is such a nice place for you to come. Bring the family, bring a couple pools. Enjoy the day, enjoy the afternoon. And definitely start marking your calendar for the first weekend in June, because that's a, this is a three-day event. There's going to be a couple different rallies for the kids, uh, a couple different fishing rallies, rather. One for kids, one for adults. Yes. We're going to have tug of war. We're going to have all kinds of different things. Anything that floats. Anything. That, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. And um, for information on their group, Facebook? Yeah, on our Facebook page, General Braddock's Fish Club. General Braddock's Fish Club? Uh, General Braddock's Fish Club, or we have a Yawk River Rally facebook page as well oh okay there yeah. you go okay folks so there you go there's uh, ways to get updated information keep updated with everything they have their stockings on there um they have all kinds of different information so it's a way to keep in touch with these folks and if you really want to get involved you can join as well so okay stay with us i'm going to put on some boots and i'm going to change my hat and we're hitting the river the world could always use a little more kindness a bit of patience some understanding in complicated or stressful times. Great customer service can go a long way. Here's to all of those who make sacrifices for the greater good. Thank you for calling Armstrong. My name is Christina. My daughter happens to be one of them. From high school sports to community events and beyond, you can find all of your favorite local shows on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Chelsea Rittenauer here, your host for Music Talks. You can find my show and other local favorites like Challenge Accepted, The Jeff and Jerry Show, and Around the Town right here on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Check us out right now on Channel 100 or search Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube for playlists and much more. Spirit, town pride, community. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Okay, now first Ron's gonna show us how to do it. <laughs> now, okay, now as far as here in the river, I see, do you constantly want to be reeling it? You don't want to well, throw it out there? So I'm using a lure, so I'm spinning for fish right now okay. instead of a bait. So I'm putting it out there and keeping it moving and uh, moving it through the water and hoping a fish comes up and grabs it. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to be using live bait, so what should I do differently than you're doing here? Well, I think with the current, you want to, you're, you're going to be using mini, so you're going to want to cast out and let the, let the current take your mini down around, and whenever it starts to make the loop down here, you'll want to start bringing it in slowly. Okay, all yeah. right. Okay, cool. All right. Well, Ron's going to fish a little bit here. I'm going to get baited up. Now, Ron explained to me, <clears throat> as I said, this is different, different than regular stream fishing. I actually put a lot more weight on this than I normally would have on it. And I put the weight up, he said, about 14 inches from the hook, which there again, too, is very unusual. I usually put my weight down by the hook. I'm using minis, minis complements of Jack Caruso's bait shop in Mount Pleasant. Good place to get your live minis. Thank you, Jack. Okay. And as Ron just explained, I'm going to try to get it out there as far as I can. Oh, these are lucky minis, I can tell. There are some gentlemen here that are fishing with us this morning. They've already caught several. So the fishing's good. If I can get a mini. And like Ron said, you can do it, you can live fish, live bait, uh, spin. Do you have people that fly fish down here? I think you're a champ. Okay. I got my mini on, got my weight. Now I'm going to walk out. How far? <laughs> I think you need to go real far. No? This is pretty, it drops off pretty fast here. So where we're at, it kind of drops. Pretty okay. Good. All right. So I won't go out too far. I'm going to cast and let's see what we can do. I'm good? It's good. Now, should I let it go a little bit, or should I lock it up? Or lock it up and just lock let, it up? let it go downstream a little bit. It's so pretty out here today. The water is just beautiful. Did I have a bite? You might have. <laughs> bring it in slow, and it'll, you know, you, you want to bring it in fast enough that you don't get caught up under a rock with it. I think I have a snag. I think I have a yeah, snag. That's the hard part about fishing the river. You got to be. So I do. If you pretty much have to move all the well, time, let me see then. If I move it. Let me, let me see if I can look. I got it. Over here. Did you get it? Uh huh. Do I still have bait? Yep. So you want to put it out. My weight went way down. Let the current, that's when your weight must have hung you up. So you don't want that weight to sink. So okay. once that weight sinks, then that's going to, that's where you get stuck under a rock. Okay. So let the current take it down. Once it gets down here, just start bringing it in. Okay. So keep it off the bottom. Okay. We're going to do one more cast. Try that folks. And I'm going to fish for the day. <laughs> Is that far enough? A little farther. Be good, but that'd be all right. There again, too. I, I can't. I, I can't stress how nice it is down here. I can't believe it's I've never. River, I it? cannot believe I've never fished here. Yeah. Come on, fish. Bring it a little fast. Am I bring? Oh, bring it in faster. A little bit. Oh. I don't know. I think it's going to take me more than two minutes to catch a fish today. <laughs> Well, Ron, thank you so much. Thanks, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, for telling us all about your group. I hope some folks out there join. <laughs> uh, my husband, Jack, and I are actually your newest members. We joined right. up. But again, this group is doing lots of great things for uh, Connorsville and for the area. So uh, I'm gonna have to turn here so I can say goodbye to everybody. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank Remember, you folks, keep smiling, keep dreaming, Keep watching and keep fishing. <laughs> <laughs>